Hi everyone, this is Dr. Santos. Today I will talk about acid based disorder. Today I will teach you how to analyze arterial blood gas. Let's see. So, this is the first and very important slide you can see here in this slide. This is the table of partially compensated acid based disorder. You will see the picture like this. Whenever a patient with acid disorder come to your clinic or when you do ABG analysis, arterial blood gas analysis, you will get this very important three parameters. These are very important parameters. When you do these parameters, when you see the re report, it's a ABG report, then you will find these are the, these are, you will find some uh, pH changes, carbon dioxide, partial pressure changes, and bicarbonate changes. Now here, when you see in metabolic acidosis, it's because it is acidosis. That means when pH is low, then you will say, call it acidosis. Now, and this metabolic acidosis is because of bicarbonate down. So you, you can see always in metabolic acidosis, there will be low bicarbonate. And because of compensatory response, there will also, carbon dioxide will also follow, will, it will be low. And in metabolic alkalosis, you will see, because it is alkalosis, so this pH will be high because of high bicarbonate. And then this carbon dioxide will also follow this bicarbonate, increase in bicarbonate concentration. Here in respiratory acidosis, when the acidosis may happens, acidosis means the pH will become low. When pH is low, that means, what does that mean? This pH is low in respiratory acidosis because of carbon dioxide retention. When carbon dioxide is high, this bicarbonate will also follow. In a respiratory alkalosis, you will see high alkalosis means high pH means because of low carbon dioxide or flushing out of carbon dioxide, you will see alkalosis and this bicarbonate follow. Now, how to remember this picture? So, it's very easy to remember this picture. You can see in metabolic acidosis, if you can see correctly, nicely, metabolic acidosis, you will see all the point of arrow, this pH and this arrow, the direction of all the arrow, pH and carbon dioxide as you will be in the same direction. So how do you remember this M? Just remember this M is like this. Okay, when you pull one line here, so you can see this will become this M, this you can draw two arrow like this, it will become M with two arrow. So one arrow and one arrow. That is how you can remember the metabolic acidosis will have the arrow directly directing downward. In metabolic alkalosis, the direct arrow of direction of arrow will be upward. All the direction of arrow will be upward here. All arrow will be downward. So this pH is one component. If you take them together, this will be two component. So this component will be also down. This component will also be down in acidosis. In alkalosis, this component will be up and this both component by carbon and carbon dioxide will be up. But let's talk about respiratory acidosis. When you see respiratory, just remember R for reverse. So what does that mean? When you notice here in respiratory acidosis, you can see this because of low pH, this is acidosis. Acidosis will have low pH and this happens because of high carbon dioxide. So see the direction of arrow in carbon dioxide and bicarbonate. So the air direction of arrow will be pH with other component will be reverse. So you can, re you can easily understand when you see the ABG, when in that ABG, when you see pH is low, but carbon dioxide and bicarbonate concentration is high, it is respiratory acidosis. And what about respiratory alkalosis? Respiratory alkalosis means pH will be high, so other two components will be low. Now, this is something you memorize. You have to memorize this very well, and I'll make you understand in next slide. So just see, this changes, and very important thing you have to remember in normal partially compensated when it is not mixed acid based disorder so the principle is that this all component should change proportionately if ph is drops here now carb here bicarbonate should drop proportionately and the carbon dioxide will, will also should also be drop proportionately 
here also if something increases proportionately this should also increase proportionately this should also increase proportionately now in metabolic acidosis ph drop there will be proportionate increase in bicarbon this carbon dioxide and then bicarbonate here proportionate increase and then proportionate with increase of ph there will be proportionate decrease in carbon dioxide partial pressure and by so this change should be proportionate now this is a very there is one very important formula that that has been given in scenario of metabolic acidosis so this scenario is called winters formula when metabolic acid base condition we can you can directly find out the proportional increase through this formula when there is some change in bicarbonate we can calculate the change in carbon dioxide if change in carbon dioxide is more or less it is mixed type of acid based dessert so this is how you you can analyze whether this is simple type of acid based disorder or mixed type of acid acid based disorder you understand you analyze because by focusing on this point if there is proportionate change it is simple if there is not a proportionate change it is mixed type of acid based disorder this is how we approach mixed type of acid based disorder now other thing you will see so ph should also be increasing proportionately with bicarbonate and this if there is not proportionate increase in ph with bicarbonate and carbon dioxide this there is no proportionate change between ph and bicarbonate carbon dioxide what will happen is you understand this is also mixed type of acidosis what happens sometimes is you will find met, there is in some acidosis the ph will be normal but you will find very high amount that you will find drop in bicarbonate drop in carbon this carbon dioxide but ph is normal how can it be possible so this type of condition you call it mixed acid based disorder so for to understand mixed acid based disorder first you need to understand this whole table and you want i want you to memorize this table so now and i think you can memorize this table very easily because you know metabolic acidosis you can see the direction of arrow downward all arrow will be pointing downward alkalosis all arrow will be found to pointing upward while in respiratory condition it is reverse ph will be in one direction this two will be in other direction so acidosis ph will be down and then a direction of other arrow carb partial pressure of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate concentration will be up here up because alkalosis and then other will be down so you can easily remember this table now understanding how do do we get this value so actually when you understand one equation called henderson hedgeback equation it will be very very easy for you to understand this so just let's understand henderson hedgeback equation then you will understand the compensation and non compensation and see what is henderson hedgeback equation so henderson hedgeback equation is equation of chemistry of weak base the equation is given for weak base remember weak so weak not only base weak acid or base any weak acid or base will have this henderson hedgeback equation and remember only weak acid or weak base will function like a buffer so here in our blood bicarbonate is a buffer so for blood the buffer bicarbonate this is the henderson hedgeback equation you can see henderson hedgeback equation ph is equal to pka plus log salt by acid s a now this change this equation into bicarbonate equation so the pk of bicarbonate is 6.1 log this is log and this salt is bicarbonate here and then carbon di carbonic acid down now you can see that you can change this carbonic acid with this equation because carbon dioxide when it is solubilized it becomes carbonic acid and this is the equation you get from henry's law so in henry what henry say henry says that any gas it is soluble and it depends on its solubility coefficient so more is the partial pressure of gas more is the solubility so solubility of gas is proportional to partial pressure of any gas and the constant is solubility coefficient so here solubility coefficient of this is 0 0.03 
and this is the partial pressure of carbon actually this is how in place of bicarbonate you in place of carbonic acid you will see a partial pressure of carbon dioxide so this is the equation now let's see how we understand this whole thing through this equation now you can see let me write this equation here then you will understand thing better now uh, ph is equal to it's 6.1 plus log by carbonate by let me write partial pressure of carbon dioxide only now let's see this what will happen is now let me change the color then it will help you now let's see now see metabolic acidosis what happens in metabolic acidosis so ph drops when ph drops and then metabolic acidosis happens because of drop in bicarbonate the first thing that drops is bicarbonate so bicarbonate is there now let's see the bicarbonate in, in before this everything bicarbonate was 5 just take an example only and this was also 5 it is just hypothetical number now this bicarbonate decrease so ratio will be 1 right with bicarbonate by partial pressure of carbon now ratio is 1 when it is not but it is not normal just take an example when now what will happen is when it drops so what will happen is let's say it happens it gave we get two number in bicarbonate we get two because of this trap because of that acidosis happened now what is the ratio now this is five here and two you get a ratio of 0.4 which is less than one which is less than one how to norm normalize this ratio now here compensation works how to normalize this this ratio make this figure also two 5 also 2. When you make this also 2, then what you get is 1. So, this is how when this is the compensation, when pH drops because of drop in this bicarbonate level, the metabolic acidosis happens because of drop in bicarbonate level. So, what will happen is in as a result of compensation by lungs, the lungs will try to throw out the carbon dioxide outside the lungs so carbon dioxide will drop and now you get a ratio coming up so when you get a ratio coming up so we'll say come this is called compensation now generally this when ratio come up as one so this ph will try to tends towards normal it will rise the ph drop will rise little bit so this is how compensation works so that is why you in compensated acid acidosis you will see when ph drops because of drop in this so what will happen is compensatory drop in this will normalize ph and you can understand this from anderson hazelback equation so you can see through this ratio you will get a normal ph now the same thing will apply to other also so you can see in metabolic acidosis metabolic alkalosis when ph up this ph will be up because of this bicarbonate up so this carbon dioxide will also have to follow so you can see here bicarbonate is up and then carbon dioxide follows to make it compensated let's see in respiratory acidosis in respiratory acidosis you see the ph will drop pH will drop because of increase in value of this PCO2. When PCO2 value increases, the whole ratio will be small and then the whole value of this pH will be small. So pH drop is because of rise in PCO2. So in order to compensate, to make this ratio to normal, so this also has to rise. When this rise, this will, this bicarbonate will rise to make the ratio normal to previous ratio to make it to achieve previous ratio so that is why you can see here in respiratory acidosis this fall and this will because this is this fall because this fall is because of rising carbon dioxide and then this bicarbonate will also follow this same with alkalosis high ph will be because of dropping carbon dioxide and then this bicarbonate will also follow in compensated type of respiratory acid based disorder now i'll tell you one thing here the proportionate change something about proportionate change so proportionate change between this carbon dioxide and bicarbonate when bicarbonate in respiratory acidosis and alkalosis when there is 
change in bicarbonate by one so the change in carbon dioxide will also be almost one okay or we can directly find out the change proportionate change with this formula this is the relation when this bicarbonate changes we can use this formula or directly we can add 15 okay when bicarbonate changes you add the value of bicarbonate and when you add 15 to that you will get the change in new value of carbon dioxide when you get the value of carbon dioxide that you see in abg when it is more or high so you suspect it is a mixed type of disorder you understood that this table is nothing but application of this Henderson has a back equation you you get this table from this Henderson has a back equation so i want you to memorize this table very well okay and it's easy i've given you trick so whenever you see abg you quickly understand that which type of dish acid base disorder is this this is the master table you will it will be helping you throughout your life okay. let's go to the other thing that you have to remember this is normal value so normal value you have to remember this normal value for acid base disorder especially normal value of bicarbonate you have to remember the normal value of bicarbonate how do you remember i'll help you remembering normal value of bicarbonate so you can see bicarbonate starts with bi right so bi means 2 so 2 2 is 22 so bicarbonate the value is 22 around 22 22 to 26 so you can easily remember now carbon uh, carbon dioxide how do you remember the value of carbon dioxide especially many of you it is not difficult for you to remember the value of carbon dioxide but you uh, how i remembered in the beginning i'll tell you carbon is four valency so four is the carbon and then O. so this is how i remembered carbon dioxide is average is 40. now ph you have to remember 7.3 7.45 this is for arterial blood and then saturation is always uh, it is between 80 to 90 percent is normal so this is these are the value you have to remember plus you need to remember the ni what is anion gap you have to remember you can actually cal we calculate anion gap through this formula sodium we subtract sodium you know, from sodium the value of chloride and bicarbonate we get Anion gap. What does anion gap means? Anion gap means simply means it is organic acid. Simply anion gap means whenever you see, just remember this is a very important point. Anion gap means organic acid. What does what is that organic acid? Organic acid can be lactic acid, lactic acid, it can be acetic acid, it can be other any other acid is keto acid, ketone bodies. So these are the organic acids. Anion gap means organic acid. So when you say high anion gap means high organic acid acidosis so now a chloride value chloride value is also very important so normal value of chloride is this so we study there are two types of metabolic acidosis one metabolic acidosis is called normal anion gap acidosis normal anion gap acidosis and in this normal anion gap acidosis what you see is chloride is high so hyperchloremic what does hyperchloremic in normal anion gap you see hyperchloremic acidosis what does that mean so chloride you see and this is also called inorganic acidosis Ne chloride chloride and in acidosis hydrogen is high so basically when you closely observe it is hcl that is high in normal anion gap acidosis so this is inorganic acidosis so when you see chloride is high quickly you understand it is inorganic acidosis when chloride is high it is inorganic acidosis so these are the things you need to remember sometimes what happens in normal when you see bicarbonate ph and partial pressure of carbon dioxide when you see you see it is a simple type of acid based disorder but when you look at this values of chloride and anion gap you came to know that this is not a simple type of acid based disorder so these are the things that will help you a lot understanding acid based disorder now we have already done this very important things about acid based disorder now let's see about the mixed type of acid based disorder because when you when you are in clinic in day to day life you will come across mixed type of acid is acid based disorder so we will very late you will very rarely come across this uh, simple type of acid based disorder so let's look at the mixed type of acid based disorder you know you know you can see this table uh, this table i have got from harrison's principle of med internal medicine now you can see this is the mixed table 
and here you can find some abg data okay abg data so we will follow this whole table through this abg data and we, i will tell you how to understand using those uh, principles those content that we have studied using those content we will analyze this acid base in this abg let's see now when you see here in in this abg let's say first acid base disorder when you see this you can see first you see ph always so when you see ph ph is low when you analyze acid base disorder just see ph first so ph this is means acidosis perfect now when you see bicarbonate and carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide partial pressure of carbon dioxide is also low it's 24 normally is 35 to 45 or average is 40. now you can see in uh, you can see bicarbonate level it's 22 to 26 and it is also known now see anion gap anion gap is 12 to 16 anion gap is high so when you see this this and this you will find that this is a normal you it looks like this is a normal type of acid based metabolic acidosis high anion gap metabolic acidosis you cannot be able to find out if it is mixed if you see it only direction of acid base but what you do here you have to see the changes proportionality i told you proportional has there has to be increase or decrease a proportional increase or decrease in the value there has to be proportional change when you find out the value of this um, when you see the proportionality change in if it, the bicarbonate and carbon dioxide has changed proportional or not if carbon dioxide has changed proportional to uh, this bi bicarbonate or not we can you can calculate this value through this so you can see this you can calculate this value through uh, winter's formula you can simply add 15 to bicarbonate value so what you get is here what you get is you get 29 so when you get 29 this is partial pressure of carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide should be 29 it should be 29 but it is 24 it is 24 now let's see how to let's work out let's see metabolic acidosis metabolic acidosis what does that mean ph will be low bicarbonate will be low and then carbon dioxide will also be low uh, this is respiratory acidosis this is says respiratory acidosis but how do we approach that so now when you see this this whole thing is low but carbon dioxide is still low so carbon dioxide is dropping so carbon dioxide drops in which condition carbon dioxide drops in respiratory alkalosis let's see this respiratory alkalosis arrow is direction is this and this and this so carbon dioxide drops in respiratory alkalosis so there might be some respiratory alkalosis component that is because of subtraction of this when you this is add adding up with this partial pressure of carbon dioxide and this is making this down so this is how the c the value of carbon dioxide here so value of carbon dioxide helps you a lot in the, when there is mixed metabolic plus respiratory condition value of carbon dioxide helps you a lot and you can see the value of this anion gap anion gap sometimes may be normal or high but value of carbon dioxide helps all in your metabolic respiratory condition now again next see next yeah abg now here you can see the acid value of acid is low this is acidosis now let's check out the value of this bicarbonate bicarbonate value is also low now carbon dioxide value is very near to normal but it is low uh, or it is normal in between and uh, 35 to, so you can call it normal when you see this disorder so it looks like the if you see that with that table it looks like the acidosis this is metabolic acidosis and non compensated type of metabolic acidosis so this this should be should decrease but there are some factors that is increasing this so what will cause increase in this value so one is respiratory acidosis so you can see respiratory acidosis can cause increase in this value so metabolic acidosis yes of course this three value will be low and respiratory acidosis will be down and this up so the product when you sum these two there will be actually the decrease will be little less as compared to this and when you use winter's formula so let's calculate with winter's formula what is that formula you add 15 
to bicarbonate level. When you add 15 to bicarbonate level, what is there? 18. So what you get? You get 32. So when you get 32, the value what you are getting here is more than 32. It is more than 32. That means the decrease is not proportion, proportional. So this is why you have to see this is mixed acid based disorder. This is respiratory acidosis there and metabolic acidosis is there. And you can find an ion gap is also high. This also says about acidosis. But you may miss respiratory acidosis when you don't understand things properly. And metabolic alkalosis and respiratory acidosis conditions say this, see this whole ABG. When you see this ABG, you can see this is very high. This is very high. Now, when you see this is very high and then this is normal, this looks like normal and then bicarbonate is what? This is high. Bicarbonate should be up to 6, 26, 22 to 26. It is high. So bicarbonate is high. This is high. So it looks like non-compensated metabolic alkalosis. But when you calculate, then if this anion gap is also normal. But chloride is low. What does that mean? Chloride is low here. You can say chloride is low. Now you can see here anion gap is normal. Now let's see these values here. This value. Let's calculate the value of value through Winter's formula. Now you get partial pressure of carbon dioxide by adding 15 to bicarbonate value. So what is the bicarbonate here? Now when you add this to bicarbonate 33, so what you get is it's very high, 8 and 48. So carbon dioxide partial pressure should be 48. But there is something that is decreasing carbon dioxide level. So in which condition carbon dioxide will be decreased? Obviously respiratory alkalosis. So you can see this is metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis condition in where you can see such finding. And other fourth cases you can see he just look at here when you see this pH pH is normal 3.5 to 4.5 this is pH is normal when you find pH normal and change in other things so bicarbonate is very very high so you have to quickly understand so pH when bicarbonate is very very high and also carbon dioxide is high so pH cannot be normal. So there is some component that is pulling pH to the normal level. The opposite consequence should be there. So when you see such condition, it looks like it can be either metabolic or respiratory. Now you see ABGs, this AG, arterial glasses, gas is also normal and these other things are also normal. Especially chloride is very low. So chloride low signifies your alkalosis condition, some alkalosis condition, metabolic alkalosis condition. So this means metabolic alkalosis. You can see this is metabolic alkalosis. You can quickly find through chloride level metabolic alkalosis now. So this is bringing down. So pH is bringing, is making some, some other uh, disorder is making this normal. So alkalosis, there should be acidosis, respiratory acidosis. This is how through pH you can find acid based disorder. So now let's see this mixed type of acid disorder, metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis. When you see here metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis, you see the pH is normal. pH is normal, but you see the bicarbonate level. Bicarbonate level is also normal and this is also normal. So everything is normal because both these are compensating each other but an ion gap is very important an ion gap see an ion gap is high that means no doubt this is metabolic acidosis of an ion gap change now when you see an ion gap at the same time when you observe this chloride chloride value is low so chloride value is low that means low chloride value is metabolic alkalosis metabolic alkalosis so this is how you can see the value and you can find out what is the cause this mixed type of Automatic, whenever you see everything is normal but an ion gap is abnormal, that quickly you find that this is 
a uh, is mixed type of acid base disorder so for the first you have to diagnose that it is the mixed type of acid base disorder then you can go and find out which type of acid base disorder are mixed now let's see other metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis so when you see this disorder so metabolic acidosis and metabolic ph you can see this ph sorry this is both are metabolic acidosis so when metabolic acidosis and metabolic acid both comes together so ph will be very low because both are metabolic acidosis this metabolic acidosis this is both are bringing ph very low and not only ph this both will bring a very low ph and then carbon dioxide will also be very low and then bicarbonate will also be very low so you can find little proportionate uh, decrease in the concentration in meta mixed type of both meta if this is both metabolic component proportionate decrease you can find here proportionate decrease and ion gap is normal but what is abnormal here you can see this chloride is abnormal chloride should be 96 to 106 so it is 110 that is chloride is abnormal hyperchloremic acidosis so this is also metabolic acidosis plus hyperchloremic acidosis so high chloride and other metabolic acidosis so this is mixed type of metabolic acid this is how you can work out mixed type of metabolic acidosis now the main thing here again is understanding the normal value okay uh, is a very important and here understanding memorizing this chart and understanding this principle of proportional drop so there has to be proportional drop of everything if ph is decreasing in metabolic acidosis there has to be decrease in proportionate decrease in this bicarbonate and partial pressure of carbon dioxide if ph increases in metabolic acidosis there has to be proportionate increase in bicarbonate and partial pressure of carbon dioxide the same thing proportionate decrease and increase should be there in everywhere okay so thank you i hope this video helped you